Hey, fourth grade mathers, we are on page 47 and 48, happy, happy Friday. This video is gonna be like five minutes to help you with some stuff that really would be good for you to do with a teacher instead of alone right now in your math book, okay? So all I'm gonna be going over today is number three, four, and five. And then you can do the rest of it by yourself, one and two up here, and all the stuff on the back because you guys are really doing an amazing job. Okay, here we go, so let's do it. Look at number three. I'm not gonna do letter B with you, but I am gonna do letter A with you. Three pounds equals how many ounces? Okay, three pounds equals how many ounces? Well, first what we need to know is, okay, because this is a short video today, I'm not gonna call you by name, okay, but I do want you to be paying attention the whole time. Sorry, my thing is like stuck in there. You might wanna have this sheet of paper out because sometimes we forget how many ounces are in a pound. But if you know how many ounces are in a pound, yell it out. How many ounces are in a pound? 16, okay? So remember, we wanna change three pounds to ounces. Look what we do, you guys. Three pounds, Oop, line, what goes here? Pounds, what goes here? Ounce, how many ounces are in a pound? 16, Ms. Jessica, you have said that, good. I'm glad you're listening. What do we do? Multiply or divide when they're both on the top. Multiply, whoever said that, good job. 16 times three. Three times six. 18. Three times one plus one. Four. Good job, 48. 48 is your answer. Okay, now let me go up here. Nine feet plus three inches equals inches. Yell it out, which one are we changing? Nine feet, because we need inches, and we don't have it here, so we have to put nine feet, remember? What do we put on the bottom? Feet, what do we put on the top? Inches, how many inches are in a foot? Yell it out. 12, okay, so we have 12 right here. They're both on the top again, what do we do? Multiply, what is 12 times nine? And do not, we don't need to put it down here, this is part of your towel list, guys. What is 12 times nine? 108, so don't put 108 in the answer, put 108 right here for your nine feet. 108 plus three, give it to me, what's 108 plus three? 111, bada bing, bada boom, boom shakalaka, that is the answer. I'm gonna see if you can do letter B by yourself. Okay, now, let's just erase this part really quickly. I told you guys this is gonna be a short video, so here we go. Look at number four, number four. Read the instructions with me. Number each column from smallest to largest. Okay, so we look at this, foot, PA, inch, pulada, Yard, yard that. Guys, show me a foot with your hands. Like, show me how big is a foot. Don't show me a foot. Like, don't show me a real PA. Like, show me what it looks like. About like this, right? About like this. A regla, a ruler, maybe from here to here, right? Okay. That's a foot. What's an inch? Show me an inch. This is an inch, you guys. One inch. Show me a yard. A yard is, I can't even fit it in the screen. It's three feet, right? Three regulars put together. So, it says do this from smallest to largest. So give me the smallest one. Which What is gonna be number one? What's gonna be the smallest one? Yell it out to me. Inch, exactly, inch is this big, so it's the smallest one. What's gonna be the next smallest one? Excellent job. Now what's gonna be the next one? Yard. Bada bing, bada boom, and those are your answers, okay? So I wanna give you the answers to these, but I want you to understand how to do them, okay? Ton, ounce, pound. That's the order, right? Yes. Tonelada, onza, y libra, okay? Remember, I told you how many pounds are in an ounce? Poop, perdón. How many pounds are in a ton? 2,000, remember half an elephant, guys. An ounce is like this size of your, right here, like an ounce of um, carne, it's not that big. Or like this is probably like three or four ounces. Okay, very light. 
This is a pound. A pound is like your phone or half of a phone because some phones are big, so they're like two pounds, okay? So what is the smallest one here? Ton or ounce or pound? Ounce, you guys. There are 16 ounces in a pound. Ounce is the smallest. What's the next smallest? Pound. And then what's the biggest one? Ton. The elephant one. Dun, 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 dun. Okay? Look at number five, letter A. Number five, letter A. Deborah traveled 94 miles to visit a friend. 94. Let's put that one down. 94. Okay? Jana traveled three times as far to visit her grandparents. How many miles did both girls travel? Okay, so here's Jan Deborah. But we don't know how far Dana went. Okay, but we don't Jana. But we do know that this plus this is going to give us our total, right? So we need to find how much she went. Well, what do we do? What do we do to find out how much Jana went? Look at it. Jana traveled three times as far to visit her parents. So we need to do three times what? 94. Very, very good. Okay, 94 times 3. Here we go. 3 times 4. 12. 3 times 9 plus 1. 28. Good. Wow, she went 282 miles. What are you going to do now? Add them up. So let's put it down here because I can't add them up like that. 2 plus 4 is 6. 8 plus 9 is 17, so 1 plus 2 is 3. All together, they went 376 miles. Woo-wee! Okay, that's a lot of miles. So the letter B. Letter B. Ramon weighs 65 pounds. Okay, Ramon weighs 65 pounds. David weighs 60 pounds. Mario, Mario. Do you weigh 59 pounds? That's what it says right here, buddy. Mario weighs 59 pounds. Hmm, let me know if it's right. Tim weighs three pounds more than Mario. So tell me, Mario, how many pounds does Tim weigh? Wait, Mario isn't even in this video. He's in the fifth grade math. Ah, bummer. We're going to have to ask him how much he weighs. Okay, so then someone else tell me how much does Tim weigh? Three pounds more than Mario, so that's going to be 59 plus 3, so that's 62. And then it says, how many pounds do the boys weigh in all? So what are you going to do? Add them together. And I'm not going to add them for you. You can do it by yourself. Okay, guys? There you go. We're done for today. You can do this. Happy Friday. We're almost done for the day. And then you get to have your weekend. Bye.